Hi members, welcome to part two of our course tour with our course architect, Mr. Harley Cruz. We're down here on hole number three, our famous hole number three, hardest hole on the golf course. And I want Harley to talk through some of the changes we've made here. Harley? Hey Grant. Um, yeah, look, this is, as you said, most famous hole at Clearwater Bay. Uh, the toughest hole and probably tough for a few reasons but particularly obviously and it's a mild sort of wind today but we've got a southerly wind at the moment and obviously in winter time you get big northerly winds. So the wind is the real issue here when you're playing the golf hole and the hole, the hole is not wide. Um, it's not a, not, a, not a generous width of hole um, and of course the main feature and the main hazard of the hole is our cliff face in the ocean. So strategically I've always thought that the bunkers on the right of the hole were basically taking up room that needed to be fairway and the you know the and, and allow the better golfers to sort of play with the edge of the of the cliff as much as they can rather than just be um, playing to a bunker on the right side. So we've been able to fill in the uh, the majority of the bunkers on the right, we've left a, a pop bunker at the very end and straight away we've gained a bit of fairway width in that area and hopefully it'll entice a few more people to play with this edge of the hole. We're standing on the left side here at the moment where of course most people off the tee fail left to avoid the avoid the avoid the cliff edge and avoid the danger. Um, that gives us up on a side slope here and we're in discussions about potentially bunkering right where we're standing now with the idea of it about again 200 and 30, 40 yards off the elevated tees down there, having golfers have to think about where they're going to put their tee shot, not just bail left all the time. And again, if the better players can use the right side of the hole, well, that will get them into the better angles of the green. Which brings me to the next point, the green side bunkering, of course, is the opening to the green is very narrow. Uh, and the bunkering is basically forcing air shots onto the green. So a lot of people on this hole will lay up uh, and play it like a par five. And that's the safe way of playing the hole. So I was very keen to sort of open up the angle into the green a bit and and uh, make it a bit more interesting to play into the green from a few different angles. So we're going to reduce the size of the bunkering in front of the green and actually open up a bit of a window through between the middle bunker and that left bunker leading into the green. We've also reduced the size of some of the bunkers here and that's because of you know being in the windy yeah, the wind situation erosion. the wind erosion that happens with every big storm. So hopefully by making the bunkers smaller and with our eco bunker edge uh, there's less wind Wind disturbance of the sand and there's less maintenance every time uh, we have a wind event coming through so I think um, it's still going to be the most dramatic hole here and I think it's going to be a more interesting hole and a bit a bit fairer and give players a bit more options than not necessarily just having to fly the ball through the air to get to a green that basically everything falls off all the way around it so yeah looking forward to getting the outcome completed very soon Okay members, hope you've enjoyed the second stage of our course tour with our course architect, Mr. Harley Cruz. Next we're going to go over to hole number 17 and look at some of the changes we're making there.